Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for April 1st. April 1st is the 91st day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 92nd in leap years with 274 days remaining to the end of the year. April 1st is the first day of the second quarter of the year and is the midway point of the first half of the year, as well as the ever popular April Fool's Day, which <laughs> we'll talk a little bit more about directly. Today's word is sagacious. Sagacious is an adjective that means discerning, of keen judgment caused by or indicating acute discernment. Sagacious comes to us from Latin. First known use of the word sagacious is in about 1607. Sagacious. It is April Fool's Day, <laughs> and it's an annual custom in many countries across the world of playing pranks hoaxes, and practical jokes. There are several competing ideas as to the origin of April Fool's Day, so let's just say it's been around since at least the 1500s and probably back to the 1300s. I always think it's especially funny when someone you don't think would pull an April Fool's prank does. And one of my faves, as I have mentioned before, is Water on Mars where I first saw it on NASA's astronomy picture of the day way back in the 2000s. I'll post a link to their website. It's a great place to check into every day. Another great April Fool's prank was played by the Guardian newspaper in London in 1977. They published a seven-page supplement commemorating the anniversary of the independence of San Serif, a completely imaginary small island nation in the Indian Ocean. This nation consisted of two main islands, which together formed the shape of a semicolon. <laughs> the larger island was called Uppercase, <laughs> and the southern island was called Lowercase. This was way before the days of the internet, so it's not like their readers could look it up very easily. <laughs> The day that was published, the Guardian was flooded with phone calls for more information, including calls for travel agents and airline companies. <laughs> April 1st. Okay. Of course, many more things have happened and notable people born and died on April 1st throughout history. And I certainly mentioned some of those in other episodes. And I'll put links up there for those uh, if you would like to see some of them. Today's song is Eternal Flame by the Bangles. Eternal Flame is what is known as a power ballad, which is a slow tempo song sung in an emotional style, often building to a crescendo. An actual eternal flame typically serves to commemorate something significant and or serve as a symbol of an enduring nature. The song Eternal Flame was written by Bangles member Susanna Hoffs, with songwriters Billy Steinberg and Tom Kelly. The metaphorical concept of an eternal flame for this song was inspired by separate experiences that two of the three songwriters had had. For Ms. Hoffs, it was the eternal flame at the gravesite of Elvis Presley at Graceland. And for Steinberg, it was a sanctuary lamp in the synagogue where he grew up. The light of that lamp representing an eternal flame all in all, the idea of an eternal flame represents something meaningful and enduring. The song Eternal Flame was recorded in 1988, released in January of 1989, hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100 on April 1st, 1989, as well as achieving number one status in a number of other countries. Eternal Flame by the Bangles. Link in the description. And I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include a link to my blog page that is called no really <laughs> you can also find me on rumble parlor bitshoot and getter all those links in that description Alrighty, that's all i can think of right now thanks again and i'll see you next time
Do not disturb. Okay. I turned do not disturb on. Good job. Third time better be a charm. <laughs> one more, one more time. <laughs> are you are you making some sound? Get on out of here. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna edit that out. <laughs> Flinging happiness all over the place. Alrighty. Back to work. I think we got it this time. <laughs> <laughs>